my work in the exhibit, Mount Abundance and the Tiptoe People, uh, number one and two, they're from a series called Horror Fables uh, that I started in 2008. And basically, they are um, kind of hyper-narrative scroll works where I fuse uh, snippets from various ghost stories from various sources, whether they're uh, from Asian folklore, from horror movies, from stories uh, that my family tell me. And the whole point is to kind of create this destabling environment that kind of examines fear and um, hopefully kind of satirizes um, fear and the prevalence of fear in our society. So basically when I read stories or you know watch movies, um, I kind of pull out like the most maybe you know dynamic, possibly graphic, the more you know eye-catching scenes, the, the things that resonate with me that kind of stick in my head, images that stick with me. So I, I kind of have all that written down. So when I compose a piece, I kind of go to that and I'll start with something and then it, it kind of builds from there. So there's these kind of narrative anchors and also compositional anchors that kind of start the piece. And then as they get placed, um, then I kind of fill in the rest of the space a little bit more loosely, um, technically and narratively. By, I think, placing components from previous stories and putting them together, um, I hope that viewers are reading it in whatever various ways, because it's a kind of a cluttered and chaotic uh, picture space. So there's many entry points that people can jump in and move around. So I think I do have an intention that people read it whatever certain way, and then uh, they kind of form their own narrative uh, when they look at it. I named Mount Abundance and the Tiptoe People because um, I was uh, drawing uh, influence from this very um, old uh, Chinese book called uh, Classics of Mountain and Seas. And it was kind of a cosmography, bestiary, and it documented um, geographical places in China as well as the people that inhabited it. And it, you read through it and it's seemingly very viable, but it's completely outrageous. So the Tiptoe people are a species of people that lived in China and uh, they walked on their tippy toes. And there's other people with backwards feet, um, really long earlobes. Um, so some of the figures um, from that book are in the two works uh, in the show. And then Mount Abundance is one of a, a geographical place also in that book. You know, with the project, I wanted to use fearful images because um, you know, when I was younger, there was all these really creative ways that my mother used fear um, to get me to be a good boy, whether it's like eat every, you know, grain of rice in your bowl because your future wife will have the same number of um, pimples uh, as the remaining rice. Or there's one about like, you know, looking at like nude, nude photos and it's like a very poetic sounding term in Cantonese. It's like san an tiu zam. And it translates roughly to grow eyes impaled by uh, needle. For me, it's like, it's comical, but then there's all these like nostalgic kind of warm feelings I feel about it. But then it's also as an image, also kind of like gross. So you kind of blur the boundaries between something being, although looking um, kind of horrific, but it having like strangely warm nostalgic memories. I always try to kind of have levels in my work where there's this kind of like personal nostalgic component, but then also for it to be able to be expanded and applied to what's kind of going on now, like, you know, sociologically. Um, so the prevalence of, you know, fear mongering in like the media, like it could be anything. It's like, you're going to eat this food and then you're going to get sick or this medicine is, you know, whatever. Um, but I think at the time I had watched um, a BBC documentary called The Power of Nightmares and uh, really documenting the use of fear in various uh, political regimes um, throughout history. And uh, I think I was thinking a lot about that while I was making the work. I think the compositions in the work kind of speak to the fact that I have moved to a lot of places and experienced, I guess, seen a lot of divergent kind of things. So that's why, you know, the compositions are kind of chaotic and, you know, there's a jamming of a lot of things together. Um, yeah, like forcibly kind of jamming things together because sometimes I kind of feel like that's what's inside of me.